Hi guys, welcome back. Thank you very much for joining me. Today we're going to talk about the Instagram algorithm changes, the new updates and everything like that. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into the details of them. We're going to um, see or find out why they made the changes, how they affect you and what you're going to need to do to get the most out of the platform. So stay tuned. So at the beginning of 2018, Instagram changed its algorithm. We're going to run over a few guidelines that your posts are going to have to follow to even be used on the platform. Yeah, your posts might not even be seen by anyone. The big one at the top is, of course, the 10% visibility. That's right, only 10% of your followers will see your posts when you send it. So whenever you make a brand new post or an upload to Instagram, there's only going to be that 10% that see it when it goes live. But according to Instagram, if you've got enough early engagement, they will then release it to the extra 90% of your followers. So Instagram, I haven't clarified what that 10% is. Is that a random number or is that your most engaged? So if, you're, if you've only got 100 followers, it's only getting released to 10 followers. Your, your, your upload is only getting released to 10 of them. And if they're just scrolling through their feed, you know, they're not going to like it, they're not going to comment, they're not going to do anything. So this is going to prove very difficult for, for new or starting out accounts or people just trying to build a good brand on there. It's going to be quite difficult. So next on the list is respond to comments and respond quickly. It seems Instagram are giving you 60 minutes to respond to people that have commented on your material, be it your post or photo, video, whatever. You've got 60 minutes to engage and respond back to that person or back to whoever it is. Instagram will slowly decrease your visibility from, from the platform itself if you're not sticking to this guideline. So if you're not replying back to somebody within that one hour time frame, Instagram are going to slowly start decreasing your visibility on your viewership. Perhaps even the hashtags, we don't know that yet. So next on the list is type of engagement. So now normally, let's say somebody comments on a picture or, you know, sends an emoji on a picture, that would count as engagement or active engagement. Not anymore. No, it's gone out the window. Bye, gone. That does not count anymore. You have to say more than three words for it to be an active engagement. Okay, so if somebody says, this is great, doesn't count. Sends an emoji, doesn't count. Sends two emojis, doesn't count. It has to be more than three words for it to be classed as active engagement. And if you don't have that type of following or somebody that's, that's, that likes sending hashtags to you, guess what? Decreased visibility again. You're gonna get seen less and less and less. So what we've got next, we've got hashtag overload, okay? I mean, we all love a good hashtag. I mean, I'm guilty. I chucked in 27 to 30 hashtags on each post, get 30 likes, get them out of nowhere, get no end of comments. Yeah, great, wonderful. Instagram is seeing that spam. They don't want to see that anymore. And if they are seeing that, it's going to lead to decreased visibility. Okay, or potentially ghost banning, which basically means that you think your account's running fine, running smoothly, but nobody's really seeing it. It's not really out there. Okay. So what what Instagram do want is for you to work on your hashtags and make them more, I guess, refined and defined to what you're using. And what I mean by that is people like to see, or Instagram likes to see five five hashtags okay yeah a lenience either way of course but what they're trying to say is it's around it's more around and focused on the subject that you're posting because if you're posting 30 hashtags I mean I'm guilty myself like I say if I'm posting a picture and it's got a sky in it I'm gonna put sky in the hashtag you know but now if it's got a sky in it but it's focused around a dog I'm gonna focus on what I'm taking a picture of. So a little tip from me on that one is to look at more hashtags that are trending around the subject that you're taking a photo of, if any, and use as many trending hashtags as you can. So we've got Instagram stories next. 
Now stories of course is a new one, it's a new one for me. I've recently started using them um, and I took a pro tip off Peter McKinnon. Um, please check out Peter McKinnon, awesome photographer, great guy. So what I'm trying to get onto the stories. Instagram is seeing that if you're using this feature, which of course they want to see, you're trying to give yourself organic growth. You're a real person, you're interacting with your community, you're telling people what you're doing, you're showing what people what you're doing, and you're trying to grow a natural channel, which is what they want to see. They want to see you engage more, they want people to engage more with you, to get more people on the platform, to stay on the platform, that's what they want. So a big tip for me is, if you're not using stories, use the stories. Because Instagram even said on their blog post that that's their favorite feature. Because it keeps people coming back, keeps people interested. Look at Snapchat, look at Facebook. They're all doing it. I know it's all obviously the same network, but they're all doing it. So guys, what's next? Don't repeat. Don't repeat your hashtags. Don't repeat them in consecutive posts, multiple posts, or multiple times in the same post because Instagram are now seeing this as spam. That's gonna, that's gonna mean one thing, decreased visibility. What Instagram are trying to do, they're trying to make it a more defined experience with the hashtags. So again, around the content that you're trying to upload. For instance, I do photography. So I chuck photography, or I'm guilty I was, I used to chuck photography in most of my posts just to try and get it out under the photography hashtag. So I would have a set template of my tags what I would just put in, just for the sake of it. Now I have to more focus more around the particular item or caption or image I am taking a photo of or uploading it and suit my hashtags around that. So really, you're gonna have to start mixing it up. You're gonna have to look at what's trending for a start around the image or the post that you're you're trying to upload and work with it really. This is what this is what Instagram wants. They want more interaction, they want more interaction, they want more time on the platform. They want you to expand and grow organically. So simply don't be repetitive with your hashtags. Keep it simple, keep it easy. Stick to five and stick around the same subject. So caption and comments hashtags. Now what I mean by this is people used to put five or they have been trying to put five hashtags in the caption itself and putting the rest in the comments. You may have seen this. I've done it myself, I've tried it myself. It doesn't work. In the new algorithm, Instagram are just skimming right over that so they don't count. It's pointless you're writing them in the comments. The only hashtags that are going to count are the five that are in the caption itself. So don't put any more hashtags in the comments because they're going to get ignored. Next on the list guys, we've got edits. So this is a big one. This is a big one, okay? Once you publish the post and it's on Instagram, it's there, happy days, and you want to make an edit, 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 don't. Worst thing you can do. Instagram sees this as a big no-no. It puts a cap on it. It decreases your visibility of you and the post. It's not worth it. My advice is if you feel like you need to make an edit or you're not happy with it, delete it. Sack it off. Delete it. Get rid of it. Republish the post so you're happy with it and you're not going to get no caps on it or anything. So that's pretty much it for the updates really guys. And you're probably thinking, okay, so why have they made these updates? Well, the answer's simple, really. They, they want to progress. They want to progress like all the other channels, all the other social network sites, Snapchat, Facebook, everything else. And they're not doing it with all these fake spamming accounts. I mean, I, I'm new to this myself, um, but there's a lot of accounts out there that have got quite large through spamming content, and they're no good. And like any other site, Facebook, they can only make money if they monetize, which we all know about that. So Instagram want to attract the advertisers and any other means of, of getting money, but they can't do it with fake accounts. So this is probably the best way of doing it. However, for smaller accounts like myself who's just starting out as a photography account, um, this is gonna prove very difficult. But they see it as organic 
growth rather than spammed growth, which I appreciate that. That's fair enough. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm hands up. Let's go for it. Let, let's try it. I've got no, I've got no option for a start. So I put all this information together when I was ill. Um, I was laid in bed, and, and I, I know I'm a guy, and I, I exaggerate things. Let's let's not get into that. We don't need to. It's, it's, it's not important. But I, I was really ill, and I took the whole whole time to. It's really sad, actually. So the whole time to um, to just study the algorithm, really, because I want to do well on that. I said I'm, I'm new to it, so I studied the algorithm. This is what I came up with. This is what I found through videos, information, blogs, etc., etc. So fingers crossed, it's going to work, you know. Um, so thumbs up, guys, for the video. Subscribe if you want. Don't forget to check my Instagram out. Go there, like it, I'd appreciate it, follow me, you know, the usual score. And I'll hopefully see you again next time.